Hi and welcome to this new year video with me Wayne from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com Now here's a big question. Would you like to improve your swimming in 2024? And by that I mean reduce the average time you take to swim every 100 metres. Now it's possible that you don't, but for most of us cutting a second or two from our average 100 metre swim speed is exactly what we train for. And if I were to tell you that I have a guaranteed way for you to improve your speed, you'd want to know that secret. And this one is fairly simple because I guarantee that if you begin to use a snorkel in the right way, you will improve your swimming. So it's not just using a snorkel, it's how you use it that matters. The aim is to improve the power of your rotation by increasing the engagement of your core on every stroke. And that improves your power and increases your arm speed as it finishes the stroke and exits the water. Interested? Then keep watching to the end where I'll give you two drills using a snorkel that will really help you. Most swimmers either have a one pace stroke or worse still, they start really fast and end slowly. Whereas what we really want is a stroke that starts slowly and speeds up to the end through the exit. And a snorkel is a great tool to help you do just that. Now a lot of people begin using a snorkel but find it difficult and soon stop. The reason for that is twofold. But before we deal with those, let's explain the features of a front-facing swimming snorkel. Now effectively, it's just a tube that attaches to your forehead using a strap and it has a mouthpiece so you can breathe through that tube. However, there is a one-way valve at the bottom of the mouthpiece designed to make it easier to blow out any water that gets in. You need to use less force to blow out these droplets there than you do move a large mass through the whole tube. Now this leads to the first problems because as well as letting water out, a few droplets can come in and actually start entering the mouth through the bottom of the tube. Now this initially leads to a little bit of panic and it makes you want to turn over to breathe. Now you can see from this example that turning over effectively puts the end of the snorkel in the water so that when you breathe in you simply suck all the water into the tube and that of course is going to make you panic. It takes practice and patience, but eventually you realise that all you have to do is blow out to clear the tube. Persevere and you'll go further and further, eventually going the whole length without stopping. The second problem is the difficulty we have in our mind realising that we don't actually have to turn to breathe. Turning, again, places the end of the snorkel in the water, breathing in all that water into the tube, and obviously you're going to lift your head to clear the tube. And you can see here, turning to his left, this swimmer doesn't put the end in the tube, but turning to the right, he definitely does. So there's a problem there. One of the main aims of using a snorkel is actually to swim without moving your head. So you're effectively rotating your body as opposed to moving your head and your body at the same time. Your head's completely independent and you can successfully relax your neck and your upper chest with no problem. As your arm progresses through the stroke in swimming, your body needs to rotate hard to get out the way of that hand coming back so the hand can accelerate out of the water aggressively. So the first thing you should do is practice this drill that will fundamentally improve your rotation. Initially, push off from the wall flat with your arms by your sides, relaxing and just kicking flat. Then rotate to one side, keeping your head dead still and change sides using your top leg to kick hard and rotate from your hip. So you're pulling your body back from the hip. Do that down the length, changing from side to side with an aggressive kick and a hard pull from the hip. Initiate the opposite hip with the opposite shoulder and you'll start rotating much quicker. To practice a six beat kick, change every third kick so it becomes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. With each kick, your core rotates your hip 
and makes the one two soft and the third kick really hard. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Slowly but surely you'll get better at driving that rotation from your core. Be aware though, the temptation is to make the rotation from the shoulder. If you look at this swimmer, you may see that he's driving the rotation from his shoulder. That makes the rotation weak and is likely to lead to a twist in the body as opposed to a complete rotation with your head staying absolutely straight. We want the body straight and to drive the rotation from the hips and the core. And that way you'll get a really strong rotation and a fast rotation as you finish the stroke. Once you practice the rotation and are happy with both the snorkel and your ability to engage your core as you rotate, you can begin swimming with the snorkel. Now you can see that the rotation this swimmer now has is dynamic. Along with that rotation comes a drive from the arms, coming in straight with the shoulder and the hip. His stroke is lengthened and is more powerful at the back end. Now this is where the hand exits the water. See how the dynamic rotation allows him to get his body out of the way of the driving arm, so his hand can travel back as far as possible, extending his stroke length. From this point, you can start doing drills with your snorkel on, and you can put fins on if you wish. Now, two astoundingly good drills are, firstly, the single arm drill. Making sure you reach down the pool, bring your arm in under the body, then dynamically rotate, accelerating your arm out of the water. Now, if you change arms every length, you'll maximize these good practices on both arms. Next is the broken arrow drill, where you speed your hand and arm out of the water, pointing the palm to the back of the pool. Get to a position where your palm is pointing to the bottom of the pool, then drive your arm forward and into the water in line with your shoulder. You can see with this swimmer that rotation makes her stroke powerful and long. That really is the panacea for all swimmers combining the maximum stroke length we can manage together with the fastest stroke weight we can maintain. Then we'll always be swimming at our fastest for any given distance. Obviously, stroke rate changes given the distance. So this simple little tool can help you dramatically improve your speed through the water. Remember, it's the hip that initiates rotation. Okay, that's all for this video. Hopefully you found that useful and will swim faster. Keep well. Happy New Year. Thanks very much for watching.